Hello, welcome to Hersco Online. Today we're going to look at specifically wound healing. This is the first in a three-part series where we look at healing chronic open wounds or ulcers. Very often this can be a difficult patient population to deal with. The majority of patients that you see with chronic open ulcers will be diabetic, although that's not exclusively the case. They can often be dealing with other conditions and taking a cocktail of prescriptions that leads to a lot of difficulty both in their lifestyle and in their medical history. There are two concepts that we have to consider when we're trying to offload open wounds. The first is pressure and the second is shear. Pressure from our classes in physics is defined as force divided by area. So quite simply, if we can reduce the force or the loading on the plantar aspect of the foot, or we can increase the total contact area to spread that force over a greater surface, we'll have a chance of reducing the pressure and helping to close the wound. The second concept is shear. Shear is also a force, however, instead of it being applied directly down, it's more of a parallel force acting in transition to the plane. And that's best understood on the foot as the tear that can occur when the skin is pulled in two different directions as it rubs against the surface, such as the interior of a shoe. Our goal is to reduce both pressure and shear. And our secondary objective is to do it using what's called a transitional approach. So we may use one modality to reduce and close an open ulcer, and then move the patient through various other devices, go from a crow walker to an orthotic to a shoe. The idea that we need to remember is not to keep the patient in a single modality for the rest of their lives. When it comes to wound healing, the gold standard is the total contact cast. The total contact cast is a system where the wound is offloaded using felt or foam padding. Apertures are made in the areas of bony prominences or where the open ulcer exists. And then the cast is essentially applied around the foot, the ankle and the lower leg. Typically fiberglass is used and this forms a rigid cast that doesn't allow flexion at the ankle. The advantages of the total contact cast are that it relieves pressure because there's an aperture for the wound. There's an elimination of shear because there's no motion of the foot inside the cast itself. Because of the wrap nature of the fiberglass, there's a reduction in fluctuating edema in the leg itself. And finally, it limits range of motion at the ankle, so it reduces peak pressures on the forefoot during the gait cycle. Finally, because it's awkward to walk with, it actually slows down the gait cycle and reduces the cadence. And this has its own advantages in helping the patient to slow down during this critical healing process. One tremendous advantage of the total contact cast is that there's a forced compliance. The patient can't take it off on their own. They have to return to your office in order to have it removed. Studies have shown that these patients tend to be less compliant and so it is more difficult to heal their ulcers even if you give them the right devices. Typically a total contact cast is applied and it's checked within about three days. The wound is then debrided and dressed again and a second application is made. And this goes on over a series of weeks until finally the wound itself is closed. Studies have shown that the total contact cast has an effectiveness rate in the 90% range over a 12 week period, which is highly successful for these kinds of ulcers. Some wounds can close in as little as four to five weeks. There are contraindications for the total contact cast. Among them are patients with peripheral arterial disease, patients with active infections, and also you need to watch out for those patients who don't follow their appointment protocol. It would be a disaster to apply a total contact cast and then have the patient miss a series of the weekly reappointments. For further information on total contact casting and more on wound healing in general, feel free to visit hersco.com, click on our education tab and read the article Wound Healing. Thank you for joining Hersco Online.